Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? How you doing? You know who this is, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club. Coming to you guys with a NBA main slate video. I took a night off, guys. Hadn't taken one off in a month, so um decided to take a night off. It was it was uh just relaxing and chill and Halloween night and all that good stuff. So uh yeah, guys, if you're new, hit that like button. Most importantly, hit that damn subscribe button. Smash that subscribe button. Elbow it. Kick it. I don't care what you got to do. Um, and leave me a comment down below because I always have an incentive on my channel. We get to 100 likes, 100 subscriptions. Not subscriptions. 100 likes, 100 comments. I'll give away a subscription. I'll give away a free one-month DFS Club subscription, guys. That's my deal to you guys. It'll always be my deal to you. So. Um, Hopefully you got that bread and um, down below. Also, if I can fucking talk tonight, I'm still dealing with issues. With my uh, phone graph I had uh, what now five days ago. So whew, it, it's it's a painful procedure, guys. Down below, there's a super thanks option with a heart and a thanks next to it. If you guys want to throw a couple of dollars in the tip jar, it goes a long way towards the channel for Schroeder to smoking Joe. Um, and it just helps keep the channel going, guys. Every little dollar counts. And you get a special shout out in the next video. A special message from Schroeder, myself, and Smoking Joe, the whole fam, guys. So without further ado, let's start the fucking show. <laughs> So, yeah, obviously, uh, I need one of these tonight. I can't even hit the outro, the intro button correctly. There we go. I probably shouldn't be drinking these because of the medication and the antibiotics, but uh, cheers, like I ever do what the doctor says. Oh, that's good. Lemonade, blackberry. I had to go get a refill today because I went through my case. I go through a case of about every two weeks, something like that. I don't know. I have one a day, but uh hope you guys had a great Halloween weekend. You guys had a lot of fun. Stayed safe, obviously, because you're here watching the video. Um, and yeah, guys, let's shout out the super thanks from the previous video because we got to shout out the real ones, man. So let's do this. And Mr. Parrish, $10 super thanks. Thank you so much, Mr. Parrish. Really appreciate it, brother. Your your donations are very generous, man. Mr. Parrish lives out here by me. He's been touring the casinos around me. I'm like, man, we got to really hit these up together. So Mr. Parrish and I are going to hit up uh, Black Oak Casino really soon. So shout out to Mr. Parrish, a.k.a. the Hulkster, because he looks like Hulk Hogan, guys. I shit you not. Drives muscle cars. Um. Yeah, thank you so much. I am so honored to have you as my friend, Mr. Parrish. Thank you. And then we'll go down here to... You guys, you guys kicked ass with the comments. I appreciate it. We missed on the likes and we missed on the comments. But we'll try again tonight. Jan with a $2 super thanks as usual, Jan. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Every single video. Thank you. God bless you. And uh, I know you have cats too, so you know what's up. With, with the salmon treats. So thank you. And a new donation from Efren Gutierrez, man. Gutierrez. Hopefully I said that correctly. $1.99 super thanks from Efren. Thank you so much, brother. Uh, that's a new name to me. So um, thank you, man. Um, really appreciate it. May the DFS gods be with you. And may the takedowns come, my man. Let me know when they come, too. And my man, Catcher AD. Just like Jan every single day. $1.99 super thanks. Thank you so much, Catcher. You're the real one, bro. And I'm telling you that same damn thing, the, the big one. I'm talking about $50,000, $100,000 takedown is coming. So the, the daily grind. Thanks for grinding it out with me every single day, you guys. Really appreciate the donos. Again, it keeps the channel going. So um, what does this do? Oh, look at that. Yeah, I already, I already know how to do that. I, I'm trying to learn StreamYard as I go, guys. So 
trying to make this screen bigger. You know, a lot of people are so good at editing. I'm not one of them. So it is what it is. You know, I'm an old man. So I'm not all these kids know all that shit. Schroeder's sitting just right there. Hopefully he'll he'll uh, he'll come join us tonight, Schroeder. What do you think? You want Schroeder? You want salmon treats tonight? And you gonna come join the show? I just pounded on the the couch just a little bit, you know. Schroeder, come here, come here, and then smoking Joe's in the other room. He thinks someone's knocking at the door. It's like a fucking zoo around here. And my wife's in there like, son of a bitch. So I'm causing all kinds of trouble tonight, guys. All kinds. All right, so there's a big slate, and I'm telling you guys right now, we're $14.99 a month. That's it, $14 a month, dfsclub.com. Go to the website. Do yourself a kindness. Go to the website, dfsclub, www.dfsclub.com. You got two of the best in the business, guys, DFS Space, my brother, myself, Skywalker DFS. We got to update this. We got over 700 members. Um, we play everything. I got. We we're plotting for PGA and 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 uh, tennis tonight. So when I say we play everything, we play everything. And then you can look at our slideshow if you think I'm full of shit. And then you're gonna say, "Son of a bitch, Skywalker! Look at all these big winners for fourteen dollars a month. You damn straight. I'm now cashed in NHL seven out of the." Seven out of the last eight days. So NHL's been just printing it, printing it, guys. Click join now. I would do more NHL videos. It's just not enough people watch them. It's kind of like UFC videos. So it's just for the club. Click my logo, Skywalker DFS. Make sure you do that so I get credit. I really appreciate it. And then check this out, guys. Pick your plans. Let me bring up the full screen here so you guys can see this shit. Bronze, silver, gold plans, three-day passes. You get all my lineups, ownership, projections, top stacks, all the tools you'll ever need to make a dollar and a cent in this business, guys. Our gold plans are cheaper than everybody else's monthlies. You cannot make this shit up. You get everything, guys. We do sports wagering, prize picks, yeah, underdog, you name it. Super draft. I mean, we, we're playing everything. We're a bunch of degenerates in here. Like I said, our bronze, silver, gold plan. Basically, for the gold plan, you pay for one. Sorry, you pay for six months. You get a basically six months for free. That's how the math works out on that one. So we just made it affordable for everyone, guys. Stop losing. Stop losing, for fuck's sake. Start winning. Come join the DFS club, man. The best in the industry, hands down. And I'm willing to, to put that up against anything, man. So no drama in here. We're all one big happy family because we all have that one common goal is to get that freaking bread. So let's get into the slate, guys. Let's bring up draft dashboard here. And I have my selected core plays. It's a large slate. So we're going to get into just the players that I really like here. There's a lot of injuries to look out for. So it's going to be one of those fucking days to where, yeah. We're just going to be like, anyways, so let's start at the top. So Toronto, we're going to need to look out of Fred Van Viet's plan. Um, Portland might have some injuries. Um, Memphis might have a ton of injuries. So just keep your phones near you. If you're with the club, you know we got you with the news, the injuries, all that good stuff. So we're going to start it off with Lori Marketing, 7.6K. We know that Laurie now has 60 fantasy point upside. He got a 60 last game, a 46 and a 33. He faces the Dallas Mavericks. So we'll see, man. Utah, I mean, they've been consistent with him. So don't mind that. And then Sacramento. Sacramento is going to have no De'Aaron Fox. So we're going to roster a couple Sacramento players. Hopefully, you know, the shutout, shutout, the blowout's not too bad. Let me take a. Let me fix the screen. Let me take another drink here. Cheers. I'm still here, guys. All right. So, yeah, we're going to target players like Keegan Murray at 6K. And then where is he at? Well, let's just go in order. Let's just go in order. So, Keegan Murray, 6K, plays 30 minutes a game. He's purely dependent on his shooting. Last time against Miami, who's on a back-to-back, 
So hopefully Sacramento is able to keep it somewhat close. Um, you got a 31. We'll take a 30 at 6K. Honestly, at 6K, you pretty much want off. I'd say at 35 to pay that shit off. Donovan Spider Mitchell's 9.4K. Now, I'm only pretty much going to go here if Mr. Darius Garland is out. I believe he practiced in full, and it's only an eye injury. So, actually, if Darius Garland plays at only 6.6K, that's really cheap. Last time he played Boston, he got 45 fantasy points. So, if Garland's in, I'll play Garland at 6'6", but I'm not going to get to Spider Mitchell at 9.4. four. I'd like to just try and get it to, like, Luka. Tim Hardaway Jr., 4.5K. I just think that's too cheap, man. He's splitting minutes, so on some days he gets 30. Last game he got 27. If he, He's a point-per-minute guy, so if he gets 27 minutes, he'll get a 30. He got 30 minutes two games ago, got 28. Last time against Utah, he got 29. So if you guys haven't noticed this year, DraftKings makes it so hard with 3K players. It's like they price everybody up over 4K this season. So it's been kind of a pain in the ass um, to where normally we can get 3K players. But it's real hard to get. And look who decides to join right now, guys. But look who decided to grace us with his presence. This is Schroeder Skywalker. Schroeder went to the vet today, apparently. Um, while I was sleeping, he had a... a my wife called it a spaz out or something. She thought he had a looked had like a some kind of seizure or something, but he's got allergies. So scared the hell out of her. I slept through the whole thing, but uh he's done it before. I've seen him do it before. It's just an allergy attack, but he scared the shit out of his mom. But Schroeder's okay, right, buddy? Yeah, don't you ever don't you ever leave me, dude. Can't do that. How you feeling otherwise? Yeah, these allergies are kicking my ass, man. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I know. I feel you, Schroeder. I feel you. Um, maybe it's from all them salmon treats that Jan's been buying you. I don't know, Schroeder. I don't know. Can we get back to the picks, though? Yeah, let's get this shit. All right. Let's go back to the picks. All right, buddy. Yeah, why don't you go kick back right there? And then how about Brooke Lopez? So he's only 5.4K. I continue on the members only podcast, which, by the way, you get with the DFS Club membership. That's when Space and I are dropping fucking gems. You got to get with the club, man. Stop fucking losing. But, yeah, Brooke Lopez is 5'4". I'm always speaking his praises in the podcast, man. 40, 37, 40, 28, 33. So in his last five games, his floor game has been a 28. So for 5.4K, love Brooke Lopez. Last time against Detroit, which I believe was last game, he got a 40 or two games ago. So... I'm going to keep going here, man. He's still cheap. They don't fuck with this price tag, so give me Brooke Lopez. And then send Goons in play at 5.9K against the Clippers. He'll get anywhere from 25 to 29 minutes. I just wish they'd play this kid. I don't know if these guys have cardio issues because they're so tall with the bigs, but they're fucking young for fuck's sake, man. Play this guy. I'm tired of this shit. It's 59 31 34 in his last two against the Clippers. He's a point per minute guy, man. He's like fucking Zubots, right? So, love Sangoon at 5.9. Once he gets over that 6K range, though, it's just kind of like, it's just, man, no 3K players. Like every year, you've been able to get like a 3K player you can get, and they'll get you 20 to 30. This year, that hasn't been the case. So, it's been kind of tough. Uh, Yusuf Nurkic, 7.5K. Again, no Damian Lillard for Portland. So, I love the Portland guys again. Going up, up against a potentially banged up Memphis team. 7-5 looks pretty good. Coming off a 55 burger in only 32 minutes. And last time against Memphis, he got 52. Possibly no Steven Adams either. So if Steven Adams misses, I'm talking right, right below him. Xavier Tillman could get the start. Even if he doesn't get the start, I still like him because he's bare minimal. He's 3K. These are these gems that we need to take down GPPs. On big slates like this, though, you might want to play more cash games, double ups. I'm not saying don't play GPPs, but it's easier to cash in double ups in these bigger uh, slates. But if Tillman at 3K, if Steven Adams is out, rather he starts or not, hopefully he gets between 15 to 20 minutes, and I'll take a shot. Pascal Siakam Malikum. He's now up to 9.5. You guys remember, 
beginning of the season, it was beautiful. He was barely 8K. We're like, oh, yeah, we're playing this guy every every fucking game. He's been on fire, dude. I mean, Fred Van Vliet is questionable. So, other than that, these Toronto guys, they all play big minutes. Um, Siakam's in play whether Fred plays or not, but he gets a little boost if he doesn't play. But I like him either way. 9.5K, and I keep rhyming, and it sounds weird. 35 to 38 minutes a game. Got a 62, 47, 49, I mean, 50, 50. Love it, 9.5. I just think the price tag hopefully drives people off. And those of you that played Vucevic to, like me today, holy shit. The fuck happened to this guy? Gets a dream matchup, drops a 30 burger. Like, what, the, what in the literal fuck, dude? 31 minutes, gets a 30. After getting a 55, of course, so... Vucevic isn't playing at Charlotte. We've been picking on Charlotte all year with bigs, but hopefully Vooch can get his shit together and throw up a 50-burger, man, against this Charlotte team. He did it two games ago. I don't know what's up with the 16 he had last game. I don't know if he got injured, but other than that, the history is beautiful against Charlotte. 54, 63, 61, 48. So he has been hovering around between 48 to 63 fantasy points. Against Charlotte, so I like Vucevic here in this spot. Now for Sacramento again, Malik Monk is 4-5. I don't like the price tag. Again, this is one of these players that should be in the 3K range. If it was last season or any other season before that with DraftKings, he would be in the 3K range. They do this shit on purpose. I don't know how many minutes he's going to get. He'll probably get between 15 to 20, just like last game. Four or five, I don't like the price tag, but man, if we can get 20 minutes out of Malik Monk, he got 31 three games ago. He's got 30 points in him, so it's a dart throw GBP at best for four or five. I just think he's overpriced. Um, Anthony Davis, AD, 9.1K is too cheap, man. LeBron's priced up to like Luka in the slate, so I'd rather save some money, go to AD. Gets new all-ins. I know um, they're almost healthy again. Almost. But uh, I love the spot for AD here at 9-1. 60-point ceiling. Last time against New Orleans, he got a 50. It is a revenge game, but, I mean, he's played his old team lots of times by now. So you can pretty much throw that nar- narrative shit out the window with the revenge and all that crap. Um, Boyan Bogdanovic has been solid. He's 5-9. Once this guy hits 6K, which he probably will the next slate, I can't do it anymore. But, man, has he been good. Because at 6K, sorry, guys. Fucking voice, fucking allergies. Me and Schroeder both with the allergies, man. So you're paying almost 6K. So he has to minimal get you at 30. Otherwise, you're overpaying. 36, 30, 30, 42, 31 his last five games. Last time it's Milwaukee, 36. I love the matchup because Milwaukee plays that defense where they where they kind of force you to shoot three-pointers. And that's his speciality. So I'm looking for a ceiling game here out of Bogdanovic. And at 5'9", I think he gets there. I think he gets a 40. Brendan Clark. I mean, we'll see who starts for Memphis, man. Tillman or Clark, I think maybe they'll split the minutes. In all honesty, if and only if Steven Adams is out. He's 4'7". Way overpriced, though. Way overpriced. Davion Mitchell should start at 4'2". He should step in for Darren Fox. He's underpriced at 4'2". It's like, what the fuck? Davion Mitchell should be about 6K. Played 31 minutes last game, got a 34 burger. He gets Miami. I know it's a tough outing, but he did throw up a 40 against him two games ago. So, Davion Mitchell will be the chalk of the slate. You best believe that. Austin Reeves, man, he's been good. 33.8K. I'm trying, guys, to get you these 3K players. 27, 26, 26. So the minutes are there. He's going to get mid-20s minutes. Just very scoring dependent. 23 and a 25 in his last two. He's probably the best freaking shooter the Lakers have, honestly. So I like Austin Reeves to be sneaky here at 3.8K, guys. Trey Young against New York. He's going back to the garden, guys. So if you guys are new, you don't you haven't followed NBA or you just forgot. You guys remember when Trey Young went to the Madison Square Garden that game? Oh man, he roasted the fans and they ate it up. They ate it up. 
they booed the hell out of them. They were throwing stuff at them. So Trey Young going back to the Garden's probably going to prove a point here. He's coming off a floor game, and you guys know I love playing players coming off of floor games. Love Trey Young at 9.9K. Probably my favorite 9K player in that 9K range. Um, just the pure narrative, guys. A 62 and a 46 in his last two against them. He's going to show out in the Garden, guys. Justice Winslow, I'm, you know, I think he's in play. Rather, he starts or he comes off the bench. 24 minutes in his last two games, 19 and a 32. He's only 4.3K. So, Keldon Johnson could miss this game. If Keldon Johnson misses, Justice Winslow could get the start. But even if he comes off the bench, I don't mind him. John Morant, 10.3K. If all these Memphis guys are going to be out, it's going to be all on jaw to keep him in the game. We know his upside, 60 fucking 70 points, fantasy points. So I like Jaw. I like him a lot more if, you know, some of these players are out. But against Portland, it's a pretty good matchup. I mean, for fuck's sake, he got a 70 last time against Portland. 70. So I'm going to see what the ownership is, man. I'd probably try and get up to Luka instead, but I think Luka's the nut, the nut matchup this week. He's going for like a triple-double, like the triple-double streak. He's looking to keep it going. So you got to make some decisions today, guys. P.J. Washington, we'll see if we can keep it up. Going up against Chicago. Don't play no defense. He's 5.7K, two 40 burgers in a row. And that's because he's been getting the damn minutes, 36 and 40 minutes in his last two. So, I mean, if he's going to start and get fucking 36 to 40 minutes, we got to roll with some P.J. Washington at 5'7". He's priced about right, but if he gets 40 burgers in the 5K range, you're already ahead of the field. DeMar DeRozan. So, Zach Levine's supposed to be out, according to DraftKings. Take that for what it's worth, okay? But if Zach Levine misses, which I think he is, DeRozan at 8'5", should be in play, man. He has not been good at all. He has not eclipsed 40 fantasy points in his last five. At 8-5, you kind of need, what, honestly, probably about close to 50 in a big GVP like this. So, it's risky, but it is against Charlotte. So, I like the Rosen at 8-5. I love Luka at 12-3. Him and Giannis are priced up. Giannis, I believe, is 12-5. Give me Luka. Give me fucking Luka, man. 58, 70, 83, 68, 66 in his last five. It's a great matchup against Utah, and yeah, man, he's he's looking for these triple doubles. So, Luca all day at twelve three. Kevin Herter's too cheap. What the fuck? Kevin Herter's only five point five k, and and no De'Aaron Fox. I mean, what the hell? Why is he only five five? We'll take it though. Last two games, thirty five and a thirty eight, forty four and forty five fantasy points. Red love red velvet here at five five. Kata Bates Diop did start last game for San Antonio. He's only 3.7K. He did okay for, for the 3K range, man. Two, 22 minutes. So if he starts again, I like it. It's a tough matchup against Toronto, though, but 22 minutes, 26 DraftKings points. I'm trying to get you guys these 3K players. I'm trying to bring that shit back, man. It's tough to pick them. So I like Bates Diop if he does start. And I, I only highlighted Zach Levine here because. In case he misses. But if he plays, play him instead of DeRozan. Jalen Brown, I don't think he gets a lot of ownership. I really don't. He's only 8.3K. Really cheap for him. 42, 50, 36 in his last three. But, man, he loves to play Cleveland. A 50 and a 51. If you get a 50 out of an 8K player, yeah, I'll take it. He'll probably be a single-digit ownership. Love Jalen Brown tomorrow as a sneaky play. Paul George is in play at 9.8K. Kawhi Leonard's off fucking doing, spending time with his mom, fucking fishing. I don't know. He'd rather do anything in the world but play basketball. I don't know what Kawhi Leonard's problem is, but he just doesn't love the game. He doesn't want to play the game. So Paul George is like, all right, I got this. He's 9.8K. Coming off a 75-point fantasy game, he played 37 minutes, and it's against Houston again. Love it. 75, Paul George against Houston again. Yeah, love it. 
And then one of our DFS club members, actually, I forget who it was. Shout out to whoever it was. Pointed out Gordon Dragic today as a smash play. Hey, we got some sharks here in the club, man. He played 19 minutes. So Gordon Dragic has been getting decent run lately. And I, I haven't really noticed it till today. And he gets Charlotte. He gets Charlotte. So if Zach Levine's going to be out too, I would think Gordon Dragic, yeah, pretty much gets 20 minutes. And he's a point per minute guy. He's only 3.4K. So that's another 3K player I got for you guys. I'm trying to drop these gems the night before. But the real gems will be dropped during the podcast. But this is what I got night before, guys. Get me Gordon Dragic. Alex Caruso, I know, guys. I know. I know. I was high on him today. Why wouldn't I be? Colby White is out. The game before that plays 35 minutes, gets a 30. Tonight, no, Colby White only plays 23 minutes and gets a 16. Him and Vucevic, fuck them both. But you can't hold grudges in DFS, guys. Um, with no Zach Levine, 4.6K Caruso looks pretty good. And then Anthony Simons. Again, I don't pronounce names correctly, so get over it. Fuck off if if that offends you. Like this guy's your fucking brother or your fucking godfather or something. You don't know this guy, you fucking lunatics. Move on. All right? With the with the pronunciation pronunciation police. Get a life. All right? 7.6k too cheap. Way too cheap. He's going to have his hands full with job, but man, last time against Memphis, he did get a 47. So 53, 17, and a 47. He faced them, what, three games ago? Love Anthony Simons at 7.6K. Kyle Lowry's on a back to back. He he seems to play. I mean, I don't care. 5.9K. Pretty solid. 33, 34, 36, 34. All 30s in his last four. And it's a Great matchup against Sacramento, man. They don't play no defense. Kyle Lowry, 34, 28, 42 in his last three against them. I like him at 5'9". I love Russell Westbrook, guys. I'm saying it out loud. I love Russell Westbrook for the mere fact that they're playing him like they should have played him. He's coming off the bench. And then he staggers in with LeBron in them. So give me Russell Westbrook. He's only 6.4K. 32, 31 minutes in his last two. A 40 and a 35. So for 6-4, we need a 40. I think we can get a 40 against New Orleans. So give me Russ. Cade Cunningham's been good. You got to ride the Cade Cunningham train while he's hot. Because when he's hot, he's hot. When he's cold, he's fucking cold. Right now he's hot. He's only 8-1. 48, 51, and a 60 in his last three. And again, against Milwaukee, a team that forces you to shoot threes, give me Cade. And then last but not least, Instead of paying 12.5K for Giannis, why not go Drew Holiday against Detroit? They're 30th in the league against guards, guys. 30th. Drew Holiday, the last two games, a 53 and a 66. 37, 36 minutes. His minutes went way up, too. So, last time against Detroit, he got that 53. Drew Holiday at 8 to smash play. Cade Cunningham at 8.1K, smash play. Like, you don't necessarily have to get to these 12K guys. If you do, get to Luka. Um, 9K, favorite player is going to be Trey Young. 8K, let's see, let's scroll through. This is just a recap, guys. Uh, Jalen Brown, because no one's going to be on him. No one's going to be on Jalen Brown. 7K, Anthony Simons. It's close, though, with Lori Marketing. 6K, um... I don't know if I like any 6K. It's just give me Russell Westbrook. Just give me fucking Russ. 5K range. Give me Kevin Herter without a doubt at only 5.5. 4K range. Um, I hate the 4K range because that just means these motherfuckers are overpriced. But it's the obvious Davion Mitchell. If you want to, you know, get off the chalk, you got Justice Winslow at 4-3. Um, you can take a shot with Malik Monk, but honestly, Malik Monk should be a 3K play. Tim Hardaway is not bad. My favorite 3K play, though, it depends on the news, guys. It depends on the news. I do like Austin Reeves for 3-8. Um, haven't had much luck when I played him, but he's been shooting good. He's purely scored independent. I like Gordon, Gordon Dragic 
If Zach Levine's going to be out, give me Gordon Dragic at 3-4. And, and, Bear Men, where's he at? If he starts, Xavier Tillman at 3K. Actually, if Steven Adams is out, I'll just say that because Tillman will probably either start or he'll be the backup. So for 3K, that's Bear Men. So that's going to do it for the picks. Schroeder, want to stretch? All right. Well, don't scare the shit out of your mom tomorrow morning, bud. Don't do it. But thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Again, guys, hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Smash it till your arm gets tired. Like that. Right, Schroeder? And then leave us a comment down below. I'd love to give away a free one-month DFS club membership. We got to get 100 likes. We got to get 100 comments. And if you're not a member, you got to put not a member to qualify. All right. I left that till the end of the video, by the way. Sometimes I do that. All right. So not a member to get in. And if you want to leave us a super thanks down below, it goes to the Schroeder and Smoke and Joe Fund, and it helps keeps the channel going. You get a special shout out in the next video from Schroeder and I. And uh, it goes a long way, guys. Thank you so much dfsclub.com stop losing start winning stop taking the fucking bus roll with schroeder and i in our private jet planes our limousines he's got an armani suit being made right now as we speak for a cat i know it's crazy right thank you guys so much i love you god bless you i'm gonna try and get through this damn um bone graft fucking procedure i had it's just so painful guys Ugh, unless you have to get them don't get them <laughs> But I have to get them. I have to get them. So thank you. I love you. Let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. I'm going on tangents, guys. I, I love my tangents. So I go off a topic. I apologize, but I'm all about tangents. Schroeder, let us get the fuck out of here. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.